permanent camps You know, so it's still a little bit of a narrow bridge um, but they still had road trains back in those days Now, are they one person uh, You've got northbound and southbound, basically. One way or the other, you've got the right of way. So you have to is going away from the wall. In waterfall, you quite often see kids fishing and swimming in there. Um, generally, and it's got crocodiles as well. Uh, but generally, a lot of the guys up here will have a dog, okay? And uh, a crocodile will always take the smallest thing. So I'm going to get out, have a cigarette, come back in, and uh, I'll do my introduction once I get back in. We're going to be here for a couple of minutes. Wet season, here's 13 metres. You can see three quarters of the way up that pole. You can imagine Sydney Harbour going through here approximately every ten, eight minutes, I think that's it. So it's about that. Very cool. Now, uh, in 1990. Everywhere you go, if you've lost a charger, just go into any hostel, ask them if they have any lost property. 
phone chargers, they usually have about 50 to 100 different sorts. These uh, yeah, mugs, that's a bit different. So we've got uh, two stock standard pubs, about four country clubs, one nightclub, It's not a huge town, that was the that was the city. That was it. Pretty much this is all suburbs now for a little bit. It's gonna take us about 15 minutes to drive out to camp. 10 minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> Ish, depending on traffic. Side. The number one sport for this area is still Aussie rules, but they do play a lot of rugby as well. Rugby union, either or. But you can pretty much play any sport you like. Same as any town in Australia, pretty much you can play any single sport you like. Can anyone tell me the uh, most popular sport in the world? Anyone got any ideas? No. You can uh, respond if you like, it does help uh, make my job a lot easier. Table tennis. Right. It's uh, lawn bowls. Soccer doesn't have to come close. Lawn bowls being the number one sport in the world. So you get a big black ball and you throw it at a white ball. Alright, just as we've just gone past there, it's not really uh, uh, a visual thing, but the largest classroom in the world is the School of the Air and uh, we pretty much have them all throughout the country, towns everywhere in Australia and uh, this is a system set up for kids that live out in the bush. Uh, they might live a thousand kilometres away from the town and uh, it's very difficult for them to go to school every day. So they came up with a plan or a system where they use these CB radios. You can all see that radio? Breaker, 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 all those sorts of systems. Yeah. 